The Battle of Stourbridge There's a narrow boat stuck on the Stourbridge arm. Can't move forward, can't move back. Big boats, small boats, all in a queue. This is the Battle of Stourbridge. This is a tale of enthusiasts. This is the tale of a turning point. This is a tale of determination. This is the Battle of Stourbridge. Back in the 1770s, a canal was dug from Wordsley Junction to Stourbridge Town, Stourton to Black Delph. Hundreds of thousands of tonnes of cargo passed along it every year. By 1866, the 16 locks were worked by 32 boats a day. 1960 saw them in a terrible state, with heavy creaking, leaking gates and balance beams half burned away. Priorities had changed, the future looking bleak for waterways. From Stourton to Stourbridge, the cut, no more than mud and rushes, stagnant water, stirred a group of local folk who got together, cogitating, agitating, making a nuisance of themselves. This is a tale of enthusiasts. This is the tale of a turning point. This is a tale of determination. This is the Battle of Stourbridge. There's a narrow boat stuck on the Stourbridge arm. Can't move forward, can't move back. Big boats, small boats, all in a queue. This is the Battle of Stourbridge. A procession of people pulling a rope, stretched from the stern on the towing path, rocking, pulling, working together. This is the Battle of Stourbridge. Vesta charged a wall of spoil, Land Rover, chain, power of Dane, beat of Bolinder, churning mud. This is the Battle of Stourbridge. Canals should not be stinking ditches. They could be an asset for everyone. Clear the towpaths, dredge the bed. Not on your life, the authorities said. And when the enthusiasts brought a dragline digger in, a man was sent from the BTC, wearing gum boots and a trilby hat. He looked and said, You can't do that. You're breaking the law. There was such a to-do. If the dragline bucket so much as breaks the surface, we will prosecute you. The bucket was dropped and it landed a mention in the Times. This is a tale of enthusiasts. This is the tale of a turning point. This is a tale of determination. This is the Battle of Stourbridge. Blokes are lying flat on their bellies, raking rubbish out of the cut, forcing a passage, a right of way. This is the Battle of Stourbridge. A rally of boats in 62. Three long years of muddy campaigns. Saturdays, Sundays, summer evenings, labouring through sun or rain. Months and months of committee meetings. Bring and buy sales, fish and chip suppers, exhibitions, spreading the word, following purse strings, lobbying councillors, not giving up until they'd won. This was the Battle of Stourbridge.